Have you ever had to document a process or create training on how to do something? Save time by using Snagit to create your process documentation. In this tutorial, I'll be documenting how to create an account on Screencast.com. We'll use Snagit to record a process, capture and edit screenshots from the video, and then send the captures right to Microsoft Word. Before you start recording, it's helpful to prepare your desktop by opening the windows you plan to record and closing everything else. When you're ready, mouse over the Capture window and click the Capture button. Select the portion of the screen you want to record and choose the Capture Video option. In the Video Recording toolbar, turn on Microphone Audio to record your voice. A narrated video can be a handy resource along with your document. When you're ready, click the Record button. You'll see a 3, 2, 1 countdown, and then Snagit will begin recording. To create a free Screencast.com account from the TechSmith homepage, go to TechSmith.com and mouse over the Products option. You get the idea. When you're done, click the Stop button or press a keyboard shortcut. Control shift v Your video will open in Snagit Editor. The video controls appear when you mouse over the canvas. Press the play button to preview your video. Click and drag the playhead to go to the specific point on the timeline, or click the previous and next frame buttons to move frame by frame. Using these controls, locate a specific frame of the video you would like to capture, and press the capture frame button. Snagit captures an image of that frame and places it at the front of the open captures tray. Move the playhead to find the next frame you'd like to capture, and grab the image. Continue capturing frames until you have all you need. Once you have all of your images, you can label the steps in each one. Choose the first screenshot of your process from the open captures tray. Then, Select the Step tool from the Tools menu. The Step tool is used to add incremental numbers or letters to a screenshot. Select a style you like from the Styles gallery and click where you want to add the first step. You can move the step, change its size by clicking and dragging the handles, or customize the properties like color, shape, and opacity here. If you create a style you'd like to use again, click the Add Style button to save it to the Quick Styles Gallery. Then it'll be here for you to use anytime. Label the steps you'd like to show in your screenshot. Notice how the style stays the same and the numbers increment automatically. When you finish labeling the steps, select the next image in the Open Captures tray. Click to place the next step. If you want to continue your sequence from the previous image, right-click on the step and select Edit Text. Then enter the number or letter you'd like. Snagit will increment based on the number you entered. When you're done editing images, use these outputs to send your captures to popular destinations. Expand the Outputs menu to expose additional sharing options. Open the Output Preferences to add more. Click the plus button and select an output. For this example, I'm going to use Microsoft Word. If you don't see the one you want, click here to check for more. Select the image in the tray and click the Word Output button. Snagit sends an image to your open document. Continue sending images to Word until you have all of your images in your document. If you have any questions or want to give us feedback, you can find us at feedback.techsmith.com. Thanks for watching!